Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Babar to the Rescue for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Now, Babar was like a story back in the day, and it also had a cartoon that aired a lot, especially in Canada. In fact, Babar was voiced by a Newfoundlander actor who uh, sadly passed away, Gordon Pinsent who voiced Babar for probably around 15 to 20 years. And this is the first time I'm playing this game. In fact, it wasn't that long since I even heard this game existed. Alright, so your profile could be of four different characters. You play as Babar, Arthur, Flora, who is Babar's daughter, and Zephyr. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Level 1 won the balloon ride. 98! 99! 100! I'm coming! Let's hide up here! This, what could possibly go wrong? Oh no! Look, Babar! Up there! It's Pom and Alexander on board the balloon! Pom and Alexander are Babar's sons. Hang on, boys! I'm going to get you home! Balloon Ride. Help Babar control the balloon and avoid the obstacles to make it safely to the children. Use the control pad to move the balloon around. Press the A button to make the balloon go up. Okay. Okay, so you gotta watch out for birds. You can get crowns. Oh. So I think the crowns are just there for score. That's really... Ow! These are clouds are not obstacles too, but they just slow you down. So you don't have to get all the points, but I guess it looks cool. Maybe that is time? I don't know. Again, this is the first time I'm playing this game. And why does Babar need that many crowns anyway? I thought he was already the king. He just collects them like uh, Thanos collects Infinity Stones. Looks like I'm getting close. Crowns for me! I have to put him in so many tight spots in a way. Maybe something really good will happen if that bar fills up to green. Uh oh. Move, burp! Move, burp! Thank you. This must not be a very big balloon. Does it just land here? Hey, I got enough crowns for a high score and a gold trophy. Like, I just rescued the kids. Hey, look at this trophy I got. Also, you guys okay? Yeah, it looks like it's just something for score. If that's really your thing. I might as well just try to engage with the game, I guess. Yeah, that bird's almost as large as the balloon. What the hell? Look at it. Like, the scale must not be right. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, cartoon, like, aired quite a bit in Canada. Especially, like, in, uh, French Canada. Because they actually aired this show in French, too. Either that or I must be misremembering things. I'm pretty sure they did have this in French. Especially on on CBC. 
that it had, like, uh, two languages. Local, at least. So, well, let's be fair, Canada is a bilang bilingual nation. You know, despite, well, Quebec, but that's neither here nor there. Well, at least they're not in very tight spots. I gotta take a few stops once in a while, you know? Like, rescuing kids is hard work. Oh. That was a nuisance? Oh no. Now, you know what? If I miss this crown, it's no big deal. And that bird was just constantly harassing me. What a tool. Birds. Not even once. Like, Brabar has to deal with rhinos. And now he's gotta deal with birds. These rhinos don't sneak up on you. Like, there was like a... Like, Babar had another king. That was pretty much like a rival. That rhino, what was his name? Retaxes, I think it was. And he had a, a sidekick. Or at least a... Uh, a servant. Uh, Basil was his name. But yeah, I used to watch that show a lot as a kid. So it does, uh, give me some flashbacks from time to time. I mean, the graphics look very basic. Like, very drawn. Which is kind of surprising, because this is not an, an early GBA title. Oh, I got a silver. Two, level 2 1 across the rivers. Oh no! The balloon is damaged! I will have to continue on foot from here. No, try not to drown. Help Babar make it safely across the rivers. Jump for the fine suspe- Oh no. Use a control pad to move Babar around. Press the A button to make him jump. Press the A button to make Babar let go of the vines. Oh, is this gonna be like that one game in Mario Party 3? No, it's actually looking like a platformer. <laughs> Look at that jump animation! It's like he's trying to do a, a neutral kick in Street Fighter. It's like Babar for Street Fighter 6. <laughs> you beat the pants off of Kami. Jumping feels a little stuttery. That was the end of the level! I'll have to settle for bronze. Okay, at least you can go back to levels if you want to. Wait, can I go back to level 1? I'll deal with that later. I didn't really see any vines, so why give me that tutorial with the vines now? Oh, now they're here. Ugh. Oh, my multiplier is gonna be the drizzling shits, as you can tell. He just holds it like a security blanket. What kind of grip is that? Okay, he won't drown in the water because I saw a crown there. So that's neat, I guess. 
the water is not instant death. An elephant can handle a little bit of water as a treat. Until that happens. So he can drown. That's a shame. So I guess some water might actually knock him out. And cause him to like go sit backwards. But not all the time. The running animation just feels kind of weird, too. I don't know if I can get used to that. Oh no. Oh, oh, okay, we're fine. I recovered. It just seems like he's on a mountain bike. Going across a rocky road while walking. That just doesn't seem all that right. That victory jingle just sounds something out of a Sega Genesis. Jungle Rally. Hello, Rhino. I need a ride. That's a hippo. Can you help me? Of course, Babar! You could just take my car! That does not look like a rhino. It doesn't even have a horn. Help Babar control the car and avoid the obstacles to make it safely through the jungle. Control pad to move around. Babar can press the A button to speed up. B to slow down. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh! RC Pro Am, this is not. Look at me, Isabel, I'm driving. Oops, I thought that was a ramp. Oh, n that's a ramp. I tell you, sometimes it's not. You have to look really close. <laughs> I would imagine as a king, he would have somebody drive for him. Like two of his main servants, or what were they called? Um, I don't know if you they're really servants. Uh, Pompadour was like the one with like the weird hairdo. And Cornelius is the one with the, the glasses. Usually wore like a blue suit. I imagine one of them would actually drive for Babar. So that he doesn't have to do it himself. And not carjack a hippo. Well, passively carjack a hippo. Imagine if Babar actually did carjack a hippo. Just holding like an elephant musket like a... Give me your goddamn car right now! What the f- <laughs> I'm just doing some GTA 360 in midair. This game is so weird. And I think it's endearing to me now. Oh, I should've put the all-wheel drive on this car. Why does this car not have all-wheel drive? Aren't we like in Africa or something? Not exactly the best for road conditions. At least not in this universe. People keep swerving around because of all the floating crowns everywhere. Definitely accounts for a lot of distracted driving deaths. That jump. They don't give you a lot of time. 
to parse that. And how the hell does that knock you away? It's a bush. Or fern. Fern should not beat a car. Oh, I thought I had to park right next to that shack. How many more levels are there? I'm guessing maybe six or seven, because like, it spreads around a big map. <laughs> this is so jank! Let me go up in space and it just turns into Gradius. Babar just uses the fear for an option. Just orbit around my ship, monkey. I say after this Let's Play is done, there's probably gonna be some big, uh, petition out there to put Babar in Fortnite. Starts flossing over Goku's corpse. And I know, like, that sounds like a fever dream, but you can But there was a Goku in Fortnite. Then again, most people that play Fortnite are probably dealing with a fever all the time. What the hell? <laughs> they don't give you time to adjust, you just keep losing points. Screw you. You need a license to play this level. The Savannah? Oh no! The Savannah is on fire! Keep driving through it! Help Babar make it safely across the Savannah. Jump for the vines to swing across. Oh, this again? Wait, press the B button at a water hole to fill Babar's trunk with water. Then press the B button to throw water at the fire. What? I tried to jump over the fire. Yo! Why is the water come out green? He just puts out flames with a snot. <laughs> you need more. Oh, there's a set amount of crowns you need. Oh, I didn't know there was like a minimum requirement. So as soon as that meter on the upper right fully turns white. Then you can go finish the level. I see. I see. My king, you have the minimum required crowns to enter this door. It's like, please let me in. I have 36 crowns. <laughs> oh, by the way, this entire area is on fire. Use Lugies to put out the flames. <laughs> Drown, Babar. Oh, here we go. Oh, I have enough. I can head back now. It's like, did you bring the crowns? I brought enough of them. Let's not get greedy now.
What? Come on, that was right on the line. How did this fire even happen anyway? I feel like there needs to be a little bit of uh, storytelling for that one. And this is very calm music for a savanna on fire. It's burning down! Do, 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 do. Those animals are displaced! <laughs> I wonder if some people thought that this game was a fever dream when it came out. It's like, it's like, oh, this is my childhood! Wait, why am I fishtailing everywhere? Why is this place on fire? Why does it have happy music? What is going on? <laughs> At least you can pan the camera down. Alright, 5 1 down the river. I need to get down the river. Can you help me? Sure thing, Babar. You could just take our boat. Okay, but I'm not gonna bring it back. Just like I never brought back your car. Control pad, move the boat around, A speed up, B to slow down. Okay, is it gonna be the same controls as the car? Oh my god. We're playing Cobra Triangle now. Only less hard. What happens if you don't get the minimum required crowns? Do you have to go back? It's like, turn around! You missed a few crowns on the waters. At this point, I would have just like gone to my was like, you know what, maybe we should just make some more kids. The ones that won't go into a hot air balloon. This guy can have Palm and Alexander now. Especially Palm. He's an annoying one. Ow! Where does this river go? Okay, that far. For now. Alright, do it again. It's a different part of the river. With all this water, you could have been able to save the savannah, I'm just saying. Instead of just using snot water. I swear, officer, I'm not drunk. I'm just trying to save my sons. They're the drunk ones, not me. They're drunk with curiosity. Weird. Oh my god. Imagine how much patience you would have to have to speedrun this game. Like, just make the turn so perfectly. Like, even if you start spinning around in midair. I can't 
keep missing the rants because by the time I get to them, I'm already side on. They're probably in Australia by now. Just saying. And this might be all a waste of time. But uh, yeah, if you guys uh, watched, uh, like, did you guys ever watch Babar as a kid? Or maybe as an adult and you watched it with your kids? Let me know in the comments. I also like that sometimes instead of like the uh, modern, like uh, King Babar time, like sometimes the episodes just talk about a story of what Babar did when he was a younger king. Sometimes they'll just be in two different timelines. Well, I guess there was technically a, th a third era as well. When they didn't even wear clothes and they were just regular elephants. And there are deals dealing with like a, a poacher. And how their original king or their chief passed away because he ate poisonous mushrooms. That must have been something for a kid to watch. It's like, oh, the big elephant is sleeping. He's dead. In the snow. Oh, oh. Help Babar make it safely across the mountain range. Control pad, move around, just make him jump. Press B button to make Babar swing his trunk and smash the snowballs! Oh, that's a swing animation? Oh, that is so not. I mean, with water here, I think the snowballs are the least of his worries. I think I would change his color based on your score multiplier. Is that a Babar game with a score multiplier? What a thunk it. Uh oh. You can just walk right under it. That works too. Most of the time. If you have terrain that lets you. Uh, should I trust that? Well, I guess I have to. Oh, great! Now I can take a piss in this outhouse! Okay, there can't be that much more to the game, actually. Because, like, how much more of the map do we even cover? I haven't even run into a part where I have to hit the snowball back. You can just ignore that part completely. And you'd be fine for at least two levels. Like those lifts in Yoshi's Island. I get no snow on my crown. It's a good crown. It's fit for a king. A nice green suit, too. I'm gonna wait. Thank you! 
Thank you, wonderful ice flow. If there's anything to have your back, it's flow. Whether you're in like a snowy field or in a diner. Flow got your back. Or your feet. <laughs> it all depends on the situation. Thankfully not in the, the same location. Anyway... <laughs> Wait, what is this guy talking about? I feel like people that have watched my Let's Plays over the years have asked themselves, what is he talking about? And they've done that for maybe over a decade and to the point where it's like, you know what, why even bother? He's gonna talk out of his ass anyway. He doesn't have a script. Like, I don't know, if I actually did have a script, I think my charm would just about disappear. Alright, let's continue on through here. Why well, do I have a feeling there's gonna be another balloon section to cap things off? Because I think they're still in the balloon. But there's no sign of their balloon, you know, crashing or anything. It probably would have by now because, you know, hot air balloons don't usually like cold air. If there's anything this place has, it's plenty of cold air. Hey, come back. Thank you. Move! Imagine living in a place like this. You get like no neighbors to bother you. Oh, seven one. If I help you with that tire, maybe you can help me get through the jungle. Sure, Babar. I'll be glad to. He's really leaning a lot on the uh, hippo clan. Oh, this again? It's just like the car and the boat. But you're in a motorcycle this time. Oh, you, you could go down, so it's completely different. Oh. Oh, I really don't like this. Your HUD's on the bottom, and if you're going down, it blocks it. Oh, that's gonna be dreadful. Yeah, I don't like that. I'll have to make do. <laughs> boop, boop. I don't even know what I hit to lose points there. It was just the river. road anyway. The game devs, that's who, that's who made the road, because this road's not real. Yeah, yeah, I know, Mr. Strawman. Oh. I think I, I think I was on a motorcycle once. But I was only, like, a, a little kid since then. And I haven't been on one ever since. Like, I wouldn't mind getting on one again, but I'd definitely be wearing a lot of protection. 
Like, more than just a helmet and, like, a leather jacket. So the last thing I want is to start skidding and then my ass peels right off. This music is just way too happy and calm. And it's like that for pretty much every world. It's like this man might lose his sons to a horrible accident. Do, 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 do. You still got two daughters, it's fine. Until they start, uh, doing some stupid stuff. Oh, maybe we'll end up going in the ocean next. It's like they have all this water and be like, we can't resist. We gotta have a water world somewhere. We just gotta. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? Get centered, you dumb shit! Thank you! Oh god, this, this road is way too skinny for uh, my driving skills. Royal Raceway in Mario Kart 64 all over again, just going everywhere. And then just eating shit the whole way. Last 4,500 points in a one second, too. That's terrific. Points on the goal point. Off to the island. Pom! Alexander! I'm coming! Now Babar make it to the island. Oh, it's platforming. Of course. Alright, just give me a sec. I gotta get some crowns first so I can validate myself as king. There's an air meter! Oh, great! There's an oxygen meter in this game. J just go back to the ledge, you suffocated for a moment. When he just goes into the water, he just sinks straight down and then regulates again watch what happens when he jumps in you'll see what I mean yeah see that 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 abrupt dip down it's not bad but it looks very very jank at times Thank God, this area has plenty of air holes. I have enough 
want to exit either. There's one. Another. Oh, this suit is ruined now. The boys are so gonna have to buy me a new one out of their allowance. Pretty slow going since there's a lot of mazes underwater, too. Well, I guess maze is a pretty loose term. What what's this? Oh, that's air! Those little dots. So tiny. Put two right there. I don't get it. That was a choice. It's not like one only partially fills it, it just fills. there's much left of this game either. I wonder what happens if you pick the other three characters? They might just be profile icons and it's all the same game. And I doubt you get much special if you were able to get gold in every stage. Probably concept art. That's really your thing. Not mine. Oh, I have enough. All right, we go. I'm a common boys. I'm just gonna jaunt to save you. up there and down here too oh, get up there why can't you oh my god I have to go to the right don't I of course Can't get over there either. That's gonna be a bit annoying because I know if I make that jump to get the crowns, I go all the way to the left and I climb all the way back up again. Don't drown! Mid. But oh my Christ! I hit that at the right time, video game. There you tell lies. At my expense. Well, you only need enough for bronze to be able to exit the level at all. So if I miss those, it doesn't matter. Come on! What do you want me to do? There's no run! That one fish cost me 2,000 points. You shitty thing. 
Ugh. Maybe an elephant, but at least my hitbox is kind of generous. Elephant's not necessarily known for getting into tight squeezes. Did I only just lose points for suffocating underwater? Because I didn't notice there was an air bubble there. You know, just go. I trust I'll have enough on the on the way. Right on time. Going home. Dad, you made it. We missed you so much. Now we can all go home. Oh, it's the balloon again. We're going full circle, kids. This is what I had to do to get your bitch asses back home. The birds are still big as ever. What the? Oh no, now I gotta deal with a lightning storm. Don't worry, it's only isolated to specific clouds. So we will be okay. At this point, score attack probably doesn't even bother me anymore. We will just move on. Bird! No, bird! I'll land on your house, is that okay? Pretty sure there was a hippo living there. I've taken them for granted already. By taking some of their vehicles. Maybe I'll just take their peace of mind and land on their rooftops, too. I have no shame. Because I'm a king. I don't know, like, Babar's considered a Canadian icon or a French icon. Right, both. Then again, I guess if you're going for French icons and like cartoons or storybooks, Babar would probably have to go in a fight to the death with Madeline. No, not Madeline from Celeste. You know, the the orphan one. There's an an orphanage. Oh, I thought there was another one there. It just fades! Like, I was just gonna land violently. It's fine. You, you made it to that spot. That's all that matters. Bird! Why would you do this to me, bird? I did a good deed today. By actually being a good dad. You are colliding into me. Trying to diminish my accolades. How dare you.
Okay, that was... That was a jarring amount of points lost, too. More than from hitting a bird. I was gonna get that crown! There they are! They made it! Oh, Babar! You brought our boys back home! I was so worried if you were going to make it. Well, it was some trip. And now we're all together again. And that is what matters. The end! <laughs> I just picture Babar just yelling that out loud. And that's it. That's Babar to the rescue for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. I think there was only one Babar game ever outside of maybe like Abandonware games on PC if they even exist. Or probably some that just came off a cheap website that's no longer available. So this was a very European developed game as you can see. Is the game alright? Well, it might be fun for kids. Is an adult gonna get a lot of satisfaction out of it? Probably no. But if you got young kids, maybe they can try it out. So let's see what else we can do after the credits is over. Oh, it, it just goes right back here again. You can check your high scores if you care. I don't think there's really four different story modes, is there? Let me check. Arthur. Alright, let's see how this goes. It looks like it's the same. I am blah 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 blah. I'm coming again. We have not learned our lesson. Actually, let's just cut to here. Oh yeah, it is, it is the same game. It doesn't matter. Alright, get, get out of there. So anyway, this is the Bong of signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.